pass this over to Susan Stageman. She's one of uh, one of my favorite people. I'm taking Susan Stageman's course. The, she's an NLP training specialist. She has NLP training concepts, and I'm taking her course. I started that, and I'm really enjoying it. And uh, and she is going to be interviewing today Michael Myers. So I'm going to pass it over to her and let her talk to our business attorney, Michael Myers. Thank you, Kathy. So I'm today, uh, Michael Myers is one of my, I know a lot of attorneys here in Dallas. My dad was an attorney. He's one of my favorite attorneys. He's got great personality, but man, when, when it comes to, when it comes to the brass tacks, he can just be as mean and ugly as anybody. So oh, that's what you need. And that's Thank what you. you need in business litigation, right, Mike? <laughs> Sometimes it comes to Sometimes. that, sure. Let me just give you a little bit of back, about, background about Michael Myers. He is, um, a Southern Methodist School, uh, University School, law school graduate. SMU. That's SMU, yes, very excellent law school. Thank you. And uh, his bachelor in um, criminal justice studies in, is in uh, University of North Dakota. So he went from the very cold to the very warm. And he uh, practices in all state courts in Texas and northern and eastern federal district courts of Texas, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, the U U United States Patents and Trademark Office. And he's got uh, amazing experience. But I want um, oh, what I, and he's been practicing law now for almost 10 years, right, Mike? That's correct. So what I would like you to tell us, just right off the bat, what makes you, he's got a very unique background. So I want, I want you to talk to the uh, folks a little bit about that before we get into the, what you do for people. Sure, absolutely. It, I mean, other than the fact that I'm from, uh, originally from North Dakota, where we're the few, the, the proud and the frozen. <laughs> um, I also spent some time in the United States uh, Navy Reserve as an intelligence officer. So um, I approach litigation and, and doing transactions and forming corporations and so on and so forth from more of a, uh, an aspect or a uh, position of, if you're in litigation, it's like a war. Uh, if you're forming a corporation or you're doing a transaction, everybody has in mind that, uh, you know, everything's always going to be rosy, and hopefully it will. I mean, hopefully you form a, form a corporation, you make lots of money, and no one ever sues you. Um, unfortunately, uh, people get sued, and transactions break down, and um, in my experience, it's helpful to have an attorney who's been in the courtroom to draft the documents in a transaction. Uh, or With defend that in mind, yeah, or, yeah. Or defend a corporation's okay. uh, status as a as a legitimate corporation uh, if you have a background in forming a corporation. So uh, that's what I bring to the table. I, it, the casualties, uh, not to take away from you know the the uh, men and women that are fighting uh, in Afghanistan or Iraq. The casualties in business litigation are uh, your business, your profits. Um, Your emotions. Right. It's, uh, I've, it's been a, I've always been in business litigation, and I've, I've always been the plaintiff, thank God. But, <laughs> but it's very emotional. It can be very emotional. Um, Especially you know. when they're lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People lie under oath. Really? No. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, you, you're, you're the only really one that knows it. Right, you right. Know? And it's hard, you know, that's, yeah. that's a difficult thing to, to deal with in a courtroom is to, to try to actually prove that they are lying because, you know, people they will know lie. They know they are. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure, absolutely. <laughs> so. So, that's, so tell us a little bit about what you do for businesses as an attorney or law firm. And talk to, talk to us a little bit about your law firm. You've, you've had previous experience in various law firms here in Dallas and mm -hmm. now are a shareholder in Myers Wilson. So give us a little bit of information about that. Okay. Well, I started, uh, I got licensed in 2001, November, and I uh, started with a small boutique, uh, litigation, real estate, some commercial litigation too, and, and some bank transactional work uh, in Plano. And I spent about, uh, I believe, about four to five years there. And then I went to another uh, small law firm uh, just uh, south of uh, LBJ on the tollway and got some more commercial litigation experience and some more experience in the bankruptcy realm. And uh, at some point in time, about uh, four years ago, I set off on my own and uh, met my uh, partner um, through practicing law in the bankruptcy realm, and uh, we formed Myers Wilson. Um, we're a little different. Uh, my partner, uh, John Wilson, comes from more of a big firm background. He started uh, what used to be Jenkins and Gilchrist um, and then went over oh, to Fish and yeah. Richardson. 
Okay. Uh, whereas me, I was I was kind of a small firm guy, and uh, they they uh, sent me to the courtroom right away. And so uh, I won't say that I have uh, more experience in the courtroom than John, because John, uh, as a uh, as a practice has also picked up family law, so they do a lot of, uh, of courtroom experience. First chair experience. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Those guys are always in the courtroom. So, yeah. um, But we bring uh, systems that uh, large firms use because John's very, very into the technology. Oh, that's neat. Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, so we have, we have the technology that the big firms do. Um, the, the difference between us and, and a large firm, um, my billable rate, 225. Um, I have almost 10 years experience, depends on how you count it. If you count, you know, 2001 as year one, then I have 10. If you don't, then, then I have nine. But uh, my rate right now is about uh, median with uh, 2005 uh, rates yeah, in that Texas. Is, that yeah, so is your that clients way. are getting a really good deal with all that experience. Yeah, yeah. and you know what? The, the economic downturn has actually been pretty good for our firm, uh, unfortunate to say, I guess. Um, because people started looking at their bottom lines. Banks, businesses said, yeah. you know, what are we getting for what we're paying for? And uh, they We looked, can't afford to walk away. Right. Yeah. And, you know, and, and in some cases, I'm not taking away anything away from the big firm. Some cases, if you're dealing with the SEC, the FAA, class action lawsuits, things like that, that's fine to use the big firms. Um, if it's just commercial litigation, real estate litigation, intellectual property litigation, you know, take a look at our firm or, uh, you know, a medium-sized, smaller firm to handle your stuff because, really, uh, we have just as much or more experience courtroom-wise uh, than some of the associates at the big firms. And, by the way, you're working with a person whose name's on the door. Yeah, so. but also I think it's important is less of a conflict. I mean, you get into the big firms and they may have some association that starts becoming you know, someone they've represented who you're suing, then it's, I mean, it get, so you, when you go into, and I think a boutique litigation, which is a small firm, you're, you're hiring the, you're hiring the hit guy, you That's know, right. rather than the firm, and, and especially if you're going against a big, because a lot of uh, big corporations use several law firms, and what happens is you go to them, and they're like, you know, sorry, we do business for them, and they kind of do that on purpose, it's kind of like the person that gets a divorce and goes to the best, you know, goes and sees all the best divorce lawyers first. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I think that's an yeah. advantage to be able to hire someone that you can know is clean personally instead of being passed off to a junior yeah. associate. But that's just but that's how I work my business. So. And he but you have paralegals and things like that. Oh yeah, paralegals, legal Bob secretaries. Lawyer. We we have an associate. Uh, she's uh, has just as many years experience as I do, so uh, so he, you do pass those more mundane things that you don't necessarily have to do that they can do at a lesser hourly rate, correct? Right. Okay. I, I'm very, you know, yeah. in, in commercial litigation and real estate litigation, I, I'm very protective of my work product. Um, it, and John chides me sometimes for this, but uh, I generally don't pass off much work okay. um, because I like to be hands-on and, and do it myself. Um, and <laughs>